So in this new video guys, you will learn to integrate Facebook lead forms with high level or go high level CRM application. So here we are using Facebook lead ads as a trigger application so that every time someone is going to fill your Facebook lead form, the same lead will be added as a contact in high level application automatically along with custom details. So I'll tell you about custom details later on in this video. First of all, let's get started and let me show you step by step how you can also set up this automation. So we are using Pavli Connect application to set up this automation. So it is an integration and automation tool. And here you can build automations without any coding skills. So from this sign up free button, you can set up your free Pavli Connect account and you will get free tasks to test your automations. Okay, so here is the dashboard. So guys, here you can set up your free Pavli Connect account and after that you can log in to reach here on the dashboard. And here you have to create a workflow for that. Just click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give a name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as Facebook to high level integration. Okay. Right. So after giving the name, just click on create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, you will find the trigger and the action. So in trigger, we are going to connect Facebook lead ads. Okay. So that when this happens, that means whenever you are going to capture any lead that is going to trigger this workflow and the action would be do this. That means with the help of this action module, we are going to perform any action. And in our use case, the action would be adding the lead into high level as a contact. Okay. So with the help of these two things, the trigger and the action, we can build any automation, right? So here in the trigger search for Facebook lead ads, here it is selected. And in the trigger event, select new lead option instant one. Okay. So it will trigger so when a new lead is submitted in special lead specified lead generation form associated to your Facebook page. Okay. So uh, let's suppose that you're running any Facebook page and in that page you are running any ad. So you can attach a Facebook lead form with that ad. Okay. So here, let me show you a demo. So guys, this is a Facebook's lead ad testing tool. Okay. And here you can see it is asking to select the page and the form attached with it. So I have many pages in Facebook. So I have selected this grocery stores page. And in this stores page, I have, you can see our ad running with this ad. This is a form I have attached grocery store brochure form. Okay. So I can show you the preview of this form also. Alright, so this is a lead generation form I have attached with this page. Okay, so with the help of this, we can generate leads. And as I'm going to generate the lead, I want to add that lead as a contact here in high level application. This is my high level application. And here you can see, here's how you can add a contact by clicking on this add contact button. And here you can fill all, all, all these details. And guys, here you can see, uh, we have this column section. And when you click on it, you can see the custom fields here. So when you are going to create a contact other than the basic details, if you want to fill, if you want to put some other customized details, you can select the custom details options here. Uh, so let me select this gender option. Gender is a customized uh, label here. Okay. And okay, that's it. I'm just selecting once to uh, one customized option, which is gender, just to show you the demo, you can select any of the, these options here. Okay. And here you can see in my Facebook lead ad form, I also have this gender field. Okay. So if you are asking for these things from your form, and if you want to add the customized details here, you can select the details as I've shown you. Okay. And here you can see I have connected Facebook. Uh, uh, in the trigger. So now you just have to select the trigger event as new lead and click on connect. <clears throat> and from here you have to select add new connection option. If you're making the connection with the first uh, with Facebook lead ad for the very first time and this connection that you are making here is going to be saved in your account. Okay, so click on connect with Facebook lead ads. So you can see we are connected and now it is asking for the pages name. So when you click here, it will show you the list of the all the pages that you have. 
so from here I am selecting this one grocery store okay in which I am running the ad and here you can see the lead generation form got auto selected here so we have all these forms here so I am selecting this one from which I am uh, generating the leads okay now click on save and send test request and here you can see it started showing waiting for the webhox response so this means it start listening to facebook pages and now i am going to create a lead manually okay to set up this workflow and as i am going to create that lead through this facebook leader testing tool the data of the lead will be captured here in this response section okay so here let me fill in the details of a demo lead so i'm selecting the gender as female the name of the lead is let's say dumb <clears throat> So after filling in the details, just click on next, then click on submit. All right. And here you can see it is showing thanks. You are all set. And here you can see it is showing your test lead has been sent. So a test lead has been generated and the data will be captured here. And you can see the data is here already. So here you can see it is showing us the details in this field data like this and you will get the full details in these labels the gender label the full name label the phone number and the email so that's how you can capture the test lead and the test data here in this response right now connect high level application in this action step to add the same person that we got here in the first step as a contact in high level so select this high level option and in the action event select this create or update contact then click on connect and from here select add new connection and here it is asking for the API key or the token of a high level application to make this connection and you need to find out that token from the settings of the high level account let me show you the settings all right and here you can see we have the settings option on the left hand side panel click on it and under the settings uh, you will find this business or info tab here click on business info and here you can see we have this API key okay under the company niche option so just click on this copy icon from here and it is copied and you have to paste this token here in this field like this and then click on save and you will be connected with high level okay we are connected here it is asking for the first name last name full name and all these things so we are going to use the data that we have received in the first step as the test data and I'm going to map these labels here in this step okay so here you can see we got this full name label and we have this full name but it is asking the name separately as the first name and the last name so we can uh, you know split this full name we can split the first and the last name using a feature of Fably Connect for that you just have to click on this plus icon in between these two steps <clears throat> and another action step will open up from here i am going to search for text formatter here it is selected so after selecting text formatter it will ask for the action event so from this action event select split text option okay so split text will split the text between a separator or uh, from a separator so just select split text then click on connect and here it is asking which text you want to split so I want this, this uh, full name to be splitted like the first name and the last name. So I'm going to map this full name label here in this text to split field. Just click here and from this first step map this full name label like this and here it is asking for the separator. So in our case the separator will be this space in between the first and the last name. Okay. So you can separate the string. Uh, using any word or uh, space as well so if you are using space as the separator you have to type space here in this format like this so you can just copy this format from here and paste it here in the separator field like this and now here it is asking for the segment indexed so segment in the segment index we have first second last second to last and all options so when you select first it will show you the first substring that is dummy if you select second it will show you the second the substring that is lead if you select last it will show you the last section second to last it will show you you can use uh, these options according to your needs here I am selecting all so 
it will be separated the first name and and it will show you all the separated values the substrings okay so i'm clicking on save and send test request and here you can see we got the substrings like this result zero it is showing the dummy result one is showing lead so this is the first name this is the last name that's how we can separate the data right and now we can map the things here so just click here and you can see it is not showing the previous steps so we can refresh this connection with high level just click on connected button one more time and from here uh, just keep this select existing connection option selected as I have already told you that the connections that you made here are saved in your accounts so you can use those same connections again and again by using this existing connection option so keep this selected then click on save one more time and you will be connected again with high level and now when you click here you can see it will it will start showing the data in the correct format so from this first step oh sorry from the second step where we have separated the first and the last name map this result zero label similarly <clears throat> map this second uh, thing the last name in the second label second field in the full name guys use the first step and map the full name like this similarly for the email use the first step and the phone number all right so we do not have the address details so i'm leaving these things blank so if you have all the details you can fill in all the details and here you can see we have this custom field here with a gender option okay so to map the gender from the first step you have to toggle this map button to on here like this then erase this field okay and from this first step map the gender that you have received from the facebook lead ad okay like this right now we are done mapping the data and when you map the data like this what will happen in real time after setting up this automation as and when you are going to capture any lead through facebook lead form the data is going to update it automatically in high level because you have mapped the uh, mapped the labels here that's why it is necessary to map the details from the first step or from the previous steps okay now you can check your connection with high level by clicking on save and send test request and a new contact will be added here in the contact section let me show you <clears throat> right now i have this contact uh, in high level let us check the connection i am clicking on save and send test request here and this is the response we have received let's check in high level if we got a new contact added or not so i'm refreshing the high level contact section and here you can see a new contact got added here dummy lead okay so when you open it, it you can see all the informations related to this contact are here and if you want to see the custom details you can click on additional info so that's how you can get all the details according to your data that you have submitted through your facebook ads okay so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually after that it is going to run automatically and as and when you are going to capture any lead the same lead will be added in your high level as a contact automatically and guys you can use the same workflow because i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel